Mayor Tommy and his four hundredth game today in charge of Cuddle Town. Well done.
Darrell, congratulations. This last FA Cup game, it was job done. This was job done with a few goals. Yeah, no, it is, uh, it is, it is great. Uh, good performance by the boys. I think when we uh, we had the cutting edge and when we needed to produce the goods in the edge of the box and in and around the box, first off we did and we, we killed the game. So, no, absolutely delighted to be in the app. That six-minute spell in the first half really, as you say, killed the game, but what some lovely goals. Yeah, some good goals, some well-worked goals. Really, really pleased, you know. We knew we had, had to, uh, we had to be brave and pass the ball. The game was stretched. I think it was a good spectacle, especially first half with the game so stretched because they had a right go at us, but we picked holes in their back line, which we know we would, and, you know, to score four goals at half-time and the, and the game, game's over. I thought they had some quite good movement, especially in the first part of the first half. Yeah, I mean, Connor's not had a save to make, Alex, so, yeah, I know what you're saying, not one save, but no, no, good moves, but no, nothing on target, so, really pleased on the, the way we were disciplined in our defensive unit, the big fella in goal, he's been very quiet, but, yeah, they did, they did play some good stuff, and credit to them, but we had the, uh, we had the cutting edge in that bit more quality. I think that shows the difference in the leagues, doesn't it? It does, yeah, but, you know, Paul, they're, they're going for it this year, you know, so, I put them in par with Sholin and Totten, you know, so they've uh, they've got a decent enough budget to play with, so it was always going to be a difficult game, and I thought for us to win 6-1 was absolutely superb. Last time we talked about banana skins, uh, that, that was another one today. P potential banana skin, you know, I don't think we get the credit we deserve at home, you know, I, I really don't, to be honest with you, That's, it's an, we've got an unbelievable home run, and I'm disappointed that the referee has given him a charity goal at the end. I'm absolutely raging about it, to be honest with you, because I don't think he was even in, inside the box, and that would have been our fourth clean sheet. But I've told the boys out there to take that as your fourth clean sheet, because that was, you know what I mean, the refs apologised to one of the players about that decision, but it drives me up the wall, because we work hard to keep clean sheets, and the keeper hasn't had nothing to do, and he gives a soft penalty. So, raging about that, but absolutely delighted with the boys' performance. I can agree with you, it's about the yard outside the box from here. Well, not only that, is it, a, is it a, what is it, was it, what was it? What was it? And, you know, it's, it's disappointing there. We work hard to keep clean sheets. We worked hard to get our last three clean sheets, and it would have been a four clean sheet. But we're taking that as a clean sheet. I ain't having that. I ain't having that. It's, it's a diabolical decision. Disappointing for the boys because you know six 0 would have probably been a re fair reflection. Let's just talk about the second goal. I don't think I've seen a goal so well worked as that up here for some time. You were involved to start with. Yeah, it's well worked. You know, we knew we had to move the ball sharp round the edge of the box, and it and we moved it sharp, and we, and we picked holes in it. You know, it was well worked, and I think it was Adam Kelly, wasn't it? He finished it off. It was it was it was good play all round. So really, really delighted with some of our attacking play and our defensive play, to be honest with you. Because let's give Paul a bit of credit. You know, they had a bit of quality, and uh, you know, a couple of their players caused a lot of problems. But you know, delighted with a win. And in the end of the day slightly worrying I suppose we ended up playing 10 against 10 because Chris Giles came off yeah, was that, that a recurrence? No, no 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 that was a precaution his hamstrings were very 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 tight so we didn't want him to uh, to pull another hamstring you know so we took him off for a precaution it was 10 v 10 so he was willing to willing to do that with the game already won so it, that isn't uh, shouldn't be anyway he'll, he'll have a good cool down after the match and then we'll, uh, we'll assess it Monday and now for the compulsory question when the FA Cup's concerned what do you want from Monday morning? Uh, you know, any, anybody at home, you know, I think all we can ask for is a home draw, but it's nice to be in the hat before qualifying. This was our semi-final today and it'd be our final in the fourth qualifying round, you know, so it's, it, the boys deserve that, the boys deserve that. They, I mean, they have two professional performances, not a great performance against Swindon Supermarine, but a very, very professional performance today and we deserve to be in the fourth qualifying round. Again, after Monday, time to concentrate on the league again and uh, challenge the City next Saturday. That's, that's not going to be an easy game, no, is it? No, it's no easy game. That's the beauty of football, you know. But I'll tell you what, what does make, it makes it more of an enjoyable week in training when you just want a game 6-1 and you're in the heart, you know. So, yeah, it is a difficult game next Saturday, which we'll be preparing and be ready for. But we can do it with a smile on our faces so we can work hard after a great result. 
and uh, we're getting some players back too. Yeah, one or two players back. Hopefully Luke will be back in a couple of weeks. Obviously good to see Giles be back as well. So uh, it'd be great to uh, get players back. Disappointing today with Charlie. Charlie Le Soso, the lone player going off, with it, which looks a serious ankle injury. So we're disappointed in that because I thought he looked, he looked quite bright. You know, technically a very good player. So disappointed for the boy, but we'll have to assess that Monday. Indeed. Well, a good day at the office. Yeah, very good day. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers. Dan, congratulations. Hat trick. Caught the match ball. Happy? Very happy, yeah. Um, my first professional hat trick, so... Um, chuffed and glad we all got the win and through to the next round really and it wasn't only a hat trick it was an assist as well wasn't it yeah yeah I've set up Kells um, it was a pretty good first half really with a hat trick and setting one up so couldn't ask for much more just talk us, talk us through the goals the first one I thought was a cracking finish yeah I've just gambled on Robbie's flick on um, I got across my man and just took it early um, struck it across goal and luckily it's bounced in off the post and got in they could have gone the other way couldn't it? they sometimes do yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have gone wide, but luckily for me, it dropped in, so. Right, and then, of course, where we had this period of six minutes, uh, mm. really kill the game, mm. uh, you got the penalty. Yeah. And who scored it? Yeah, I, I took it. I was desperate to get uh, a few more goals, so I uh, stood, up, stood up and managed to bury it in, so, yeah. Yeah, the keeper didn't have much chance for that, really, did he? Nah, well, he dived a bit early, so it made it easy for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. What did you think it's of the game as a whole? I mean, we're in the hat for Monday. Yeah, uh, I thought the lads did a professional job today. Um, it could have been a hard game, but luckily we got the early goals. We passed the ball well. We, movement all around the pitch was good. And um, we took our chances when we had them. So, overall, I think it was very pleasing. And uh, who do you want to get in the next round? And, ooh, a, a, a decent team, I think. Uh, preferably at home again. Um, but as long as we can beat them and then get into the first round, I think we'll all be very, very happy. It's the Blue Square Premier, mm -hmm. uh, which is the aim, isn't it? And yeah. then to get to the first round and get a league club. Yeah, definitely. Uh, league club would be brilliant. Eh? Wickham, uh, maybe? A Wickham, yeah. That would be nice <laughs> down their place. Yeah. Well, you used to play there, didn't you? Yeah. So that's why I mentioned that one. Yeah, good performance today. And the last FA Cup was a little bit tense, a little bit sort of mm -hmm. job done. Mm -hmm. Today you had the goals to go with it. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, we did a very professional job and we, we were all clinical, took our goals, and um, yeah, job done. They weren't that easy a side to play against, were they? No, they had some good players out there. Um, I can see why they're a good team. Um, but I think overall we just outplayed them. We passed the ball better than them. Our movement was really good. And yeah, I think, I think we just showed a bit more, a bit, bit of class. Try and do that next Saturday. Next Saturday. At home against Chelmsford. Yeah. That'll be tif uh, tough, won't it? Yeah, oh yeah, be good a bit hard team. But I think if we go into the game like we did today, uh, professional, the right attitude, then I think any team coming here will struggle to beat us and of course you've got the boost of confidence from today yeah yeah like I've scored a few goals now I feel confident so hopefully take that into the next game and the game after that keep it up mate thank, thank you, you very much cheers. indeed cheers thank you. to come up into the press box um, many of you remember Tommy being here with Taffy Richardson uh, Tommy um, nice to see you back but it couldn't have been too happy for you today no it's probably a bit like the days when I was here with Taffy Richardson on the wrong end of a heavy defeat um, but no not what we were hoping for but um, as I've just been saying I think when I was playing at this level there was no full time sides playing at this level of football now it seems to be becoming increasingly um, common and that just makes it very difficult for sides like us because you've always got the ability gap that you've got to bridge but you're faced with this enormous sort of physical element that you've got to cope with which full time training brings um, so uh, you know I probably as, a, as the manager I think I underestimated that today you know they were just very powerful and, and very quick and it's just difficult for us to deal with but um, you know we've, we've got to be realistic you know we're in the league we're in for a reason we're at the level we're at for a reason and we've got to almost forget about this and, and get back to what we can affect which is perhaps you know improving our position in our own league and, and doing ourselves justice at our own level I think they did you credit today, however. Yeah, we battled hard. We, we are a bit frustrated. We thought we could have done better in the first half. We got the ball in some reasonable areas out wide and our delivery weren't very good. And, and to concede the two goals shortly before half time, you know, we wanted to try and be in contention at half time and then see where it took us. But uh, we battled hard and we showed a bit of character in the second half, albeit Salisbury inevitably, you know, with the lead they had, their sort of levels were going to drop a bit. But I thought we, you know, we persevered, we didn't throw in the towel and some of the young players will learn from it, hopefully. And, you know, at the end of the day, Salisbury were worthy winners. Thanks very much for coming out, Tom. Very difficult for you in, in, in the circumstances. OK, no problem.